how little wood you actually need to start a fire with these things. A couple of chunks, two by fours and stuff. I usually just leave a gap there. I put something thin on top of it, something you know. Dry. This will do. Typically something along those lines. Then one of these. That's just sawdust and wax basically, right? Yep. And then the core plug. Free. Yeah, we get those for free at work, so they burn really hot, so he collects them as like work just throws them out, so we just collect them and uh put a nice little sock pile Every of those. Every time I go to work I take twenty. Two there bundles of ten. Strap them go. together, easy to carry. So once the fire gets going, it'll ignite that core plug. This thing right here, and then uh, it'll get uh, really, really hot, and it's nice. It's really nice in here. Free heat, pretty much. And that hole in there creates a nice uh, airflow, I guess. Exactly. Let's just take a video of it when it says lights up. Yeah. And you'll see what the flames do with the hole. It's got a nice airflow through it. Yeah. And uh, you can see how how it burns. It's starting to get there. Need some more time to burn, but it's getting there. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes since we've ignited the fire. And you can see how well that burns. And it's actually really hot right now, I can feel it. But uh, yeah, the hole creates some kind of uh, air tunnel to help it burn, I guess, and works out pretty good. So we get these for free at work, so why not pick them up? And uh, we, we use a lot less firewood because of it, so. Hmm. Anything to add? Uh, I'm just throwing some wet stuff on top of it. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And for Bosco's situation, we have the extension cord going towards his dog house where he has a heat lamp. Hey, Bosco. Good boy. I know. I know. I know. Relax. 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 But here we go. It's just a basic heat lamp. And uh, it makes it really warm in here. It looks like it's about 12 degrees right now, Celsius. Okay, so it's probably close to minus 15 degrees Celsius outside. And it's about plus 12 degrees Celsius inside his doghouse. Give it another hour or so, it'll probably be about plus 20 degrees Celsius in there. Which is really nice and comfortable for Bosco. He likes it. Right, Bosco? I know, I know, I know. Okay, enough, enough. Okay, you go play, go play. And for me in the camper, I use two things. So if I'm sleeping right here, I got this uh, electric heater. Works out pretty good. When it gets too cold, that's not quite enough. So that's why I got the kerosene heater. At night, I'll turn off the electric heater and I'll turn up the kerosene. So on a full tank, that thing will last oh, 12 hours, maybe longer. I haven't really tested it, but it'll last a long time on a full tank. So, okay, so a chug like this will last me about five nights. Um, usually maybe around eight o'clock PM, I'll fire it up. And maybe around seven, eight o'clock in the morning, I'll shut it down. By doing that with a wick dropped somewhat low, uh, I usually get about five nights out of it. The other option, I can buy these big drums of kerosene and it'll cut down the cost quite a bit. Um, I will be looking into that. I haven't bothered yet because this is very convenient for me to buy and transport over to the cabin. So that's why I've been buying this. But if I get the big drums of kerosene, it'll cut the cost down a lot. So I probably should look into that pretty soon. But for now, this works pretty good. And you can see it wants to light up, so it'll take a few minutes for it to get settled in there, and uh, it should be good. So it's about zero degrees Celsius inside the camper right now. After the kerosene heater gets warmed up, I'll show you the difference. All right, so I had the kerosene heater running for a couple of hours now. Uh, on low, I had the wick low, so I'm not using as much fuel as I could. And uh, we started off, it was zero degrees Celsius. Now it is about plus 19 degrees, so... That's pretty good. That's just after a couple of hours and obviously I can make it hotter if I wanted to. Okay, so my brother's got the wood stove, Bosco's got the heat lamp and I've got the kerosene heater. So there's three ways we use to um, heat our individual areas and they all work pretty good. So cool. All right, it's time for bed. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.